Bro, you need the eyebrows done, I can't lie. My eyebrows, no, my eyebrows are on fleek all the time. <laughs> I got like two bricks attached to the head. You They're need wham. You and need eyebrows. I have eyebrows. Yeah. You have an eyebrow. <laughs> hey, I'm yo. Hey, what's up? Hey, yo. Yo, hey, yo, you good? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You need eyebrows done, bro. No. Cultural identity. Yeah. Well, for me, I think it's just like being proud of, you know, where you're from, who you are, being yeah. proud of your skin color, being proud of your culture, being proud of like the history behind it. Yeah. No matter like how many people try to taint it, just being proud of where you came from and like honoring your ancestors and stuff like that. Isn't it? Our primary school was diverse. Yeah. I was never bullied for being. Even even in secondary school, sixth form, that, nah. Like seriously bullied, nah. I was only being, I was bullied for being fat. Okay. I mean, but that's, that's something entirely different. Yeah, right? I know. That's so what I'm like, saying. Yeah, so it's yeah. nothing to do with culture. Yeah. Okay. Do you I was bullied for one day, by the way. Okay. No, I was never yeah. bullied. Do you think in primary school they should have pushed more culture, that, like cultural learning of other people's cultures? Bro, we, we, we had, yeah. a, we had a whole, ser we, every, every time, remember Miss Biswas, the Indian one. We, we, we always learned about Diwali. And we had that, we had a twin sister school in India. Miss Biz was his husband, the head teacher of in India, that came to the school. Oh yeah, you and know. And they performed what? flipping Indian yeah, music. music. Yeah, yeah. Mad. It's, it's, so obviously it's, they pushed out diversity. Same my mm. secondary school. I don't know about Gavin because Gavin grew up in. Gavin went to some posh secondary school yeah. there, there, mm. that was probably not as diverse as mine. My. Yeah, the, the secondary school, right? Well, so I was gonna say like, see, from my experience in primary school, primary school was calm because it's like. It, like Kenneth said, it was heavily diverse. Yeah. Even though I was the only Filipino in my year. Yeah, I was the only Filipino in my year. Were you? Yeah, I was the only Filipino in my year. Job? But he joined late. He joined later. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, he joined later until him. But being the only Filipino in my year, I didn't really notice any like... Tengis. Tengis is Mongolian. I know, I know, I know. Fool. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's more like, I didn't really notice any... Uh, Negative behavior towards just being Filipino and stuff. Right. Yeah. I mean, of course, like sometimes when you go out with like a packed lunch, you bring your Filipino food. Yeah. Sometimes you get asked bare questions yeah. about why does it smell, yeah, why yeah, does it yeah. look like that, why or. It smell amazing, man. Yeah. Um, mate, it's it's the best food ever. The yeah. best food in the, the business. Food. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm best saying? Food, masarap. Masarap. Sissing. It can be cooked in like different things, so like you can do tofu in it, you can do fish, so it's like different things, but obviously yeah. pork is the best one, so we're gonna do pork. I've never heard of pork. Have you not? <laughs> no. Yeah, so basically, I had it. When I was doing my research basically on how to make it, because obviously I, we've never made it, so I've obviously. I've never tasted seasick. Have you not? No. It's really nice. You're not a true yeah. Filipino. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, Saturday school, mm. we had to bring in packed lunches. Yeah. And I remember I would bring in like some Filipino food and then there was this kid that would be like, oh that doesn't look nice or oh that looks disgusting. You should have, you should have told him. You should have told him about what? <laughs> Wait, what? You should have told him about what? You should have told him about Moon Knight No, but then I thought it. Yeah, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. But I think... Oh yeah. <laughs> but I think there are other, like what's it, Asians yeah. out there in the world that have experienced that type of thing where they had to hide their food of course, in a way. Especially at a young age, that affects yeah. you quite a lot. Because um, I think kids I'm pretty old those days that are around our generation were more prone to put a bully. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I think it's still, still happening now. Though. I mean, it's still happening now, but like... Cause what's I, I, told, I, I told everyone. Hey look, when, when my mum was younger, she ate dog. That's it. But it's not the Yeah. yeah. But it's not, like, it's not the normal dog that people think. Yeah. I mean, it's not a dog. That's what... If but someone hears dog... They're gonna, no, they're gonna bug out. It's a different type of dog though, it's a wild dog. Not a pet dog. Yeah. That's what a large amount of people don't understand. Even though it, it, it happens that they're like stray. People yeah. st steal other people's like pet dogs and, and eat them. Yeah. On the majority it's mostly wild dog. Yeah. Ascal, oh, that's bro. what it's called, Ascal. 
Yeah. Because yeah. I had a pet chicken. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. That's what did you like? Dad cook your pet chicken or something? <laughs> oh, that's turning around. Pet chicken. Well, what's the I? Well, they took me to a farm. Yeah, that that peanut like, peanut you know, acid they, just they, came they out. Made that peanut peanut acid just came <laughs> out. <laughs> no, I swear now they took me yeah. to a farm. They farm. To a farm. They like they said chose chicken. I cho I chose a chicken. Chose yeah. the fattest one. I named him Steve. <laughs> Steve. I, I, I'm not even lying. I named him Steve. Oh, everything you name him Steve. That's that's that's, that's mistake number one. <laughs> no, mistake number one. I you, you, you named mistake you number named one it. attachment. No, no, exactly. no. No <laughs> thing though. I genuinely thought that it was gonna be my pet. <laughs> so I thought I'm gonna have a pet chicken. Calm. Yeah. I go home. Next thing, I go into my room. It's on your dinner plate. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Swear down. I go into my room. Five minutes later, I come out. I see all my family member around the table. Yeah. Chopping his head off. I go. What the. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a joke. I'm hungry. Like, <laughs> so now they're, they're chopping, the, like they, they chopped the head off. Why did they need that many people? And then I was like, actually, I was like, oh my god, it's Steve. Secondary school, I'd say it was diverse, yeah, but then we didn't. But really, you went to a Catholic one. Yeah, I went, went to a Roman Catholic school. So that was most. That was, I think the majority of my majority of my school was Muslim. Yeah. And then there was bad Christians, obviously. There was bad. No, no, that was better, but it's diverse. I just didn't say it's diverse. It was diverse, but I wish secondary school expanded on other people's cultures. Because we yeah. didn't learn anything about any other culture that much at all. Ari? Ari, Ari we didn't. It's just like on religious. Catholic. Christianity. Because we, no, we, we went to Catholic schools, didn't it? We didn't really learn about Islam. I went, I went, my, my, my primary school was Catholic. Oh. Okay. My secondary school was uh, mixed, isn't it? Yeah, okay. But I feel like that would be so much better because you get to learn right, yeah, about other people. Yeah, in my school was lit because we were, I learned about Islam, Christianity, Jew, Jewish. Judaism. I think I learned about different cult, like Religion. countries and cult, cultures and countries and cultures with yeah. the people in my college. Because I yeah. in the college I went to, it's more diverse. Yeah. So I just learned it through the people rather than the school yes. teaching. See, that's the problem with because with my yeah. school it was just mainly Roman, yeah. like Roman Catholic, so it was mainly teaching like Christianity. Yeah, we did like one to two week of like learning about Islam and then another week about uh, what's it the Jewish culture the Jewish religion but right. Judaism. yeah I feel like it would be so much beneficial if we learn more about other people's cultures as well because imagine like going into school and you have yeah. one week where you learn no, about that's, like that's why that's why you cinema is mm. flipping sick right now because the representation and stuff that's like, like, it's like bad, with the um, what was it with the Chong chat Yes, with one of those movies, yes. With, Lo, with Lola, with, Lo, with Ned's Lola. With a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of like, for us especially, because like the Asian community there hasn't been a lot of uh, yeah. representation, representation of Asian Especially here in the UK. Films. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah. In secondary school, right. I wouldn't say this is, this was just based around like, the other kids, even though it was very diverse. Yeah. The Asians were just grouped into one thing. Right. So if you are Filipino or Japanese or Korean, you're automatically the same as Chinese. That was something I remember clearly in my secondary school. I don't know. I don't think I have. A, not. Korean, I just call me Asian. I don't know. I just call me Asian. No, because in my school I remember it clearly. They were like it was uh, it was along the it was it was along the it was with like other kids and stuff like the year, but they were saying it was like something along the lines of like. If you're Filipino, Japanese, Korean, or any Asian or stuff like that, you're autom automatically classed as Chinese. That's basically the, the same thing. Right. Where did you get that from? Your school? No, no, not the teachers, but like kids, some of the kids. In the year, those were some of the stuff that was said. But did that did that really affect me? Nah, I would. That wouldn't have affected me. It's just shocked off for me. Shrugged I don't know. For me, it's just like because I, I, I know why. I'm proud. I don't. Here's the thing, now I would say I'll shrug it off, but back then I didn't yeah. think I'd shrug it off. I took it badly back then as well. I know, I just didn't think about it, that's why. I think that's why I never thought about it. But have you been like, told face to, face to face that you're the same as Chinese person? No. No. Exactly. So like, yeah. That's the thing. You, you can say what you want now, but like, in the actual, in, in the actual scenario, yeah. you're going to act differently from what you say somewhere else. Yeah. So I, I acted negatively back then mm. because I was told straight up, Oh, you're Filipino. You're the same as Chinese. Oh, <laughs> Japanese are the same as Chinese. Being grouped together in that one little thing, just because they refuse to accept your culture, 
that has a negative side effect. That's a negative impact on people. Yeah. And I feel like there are many other kids from different cultures that will probably witness the same thing. Yeah, keep going, keep going, man, keep going. Thank you. What's it with Filipinos? We've built a rapport being like either some of the most happiest individuals, either the most hardworking individuals, or the individuals that doesn't back down the, no matter what. Obviously, that's not 100% true. Like, not everyone. Is not everyone, but I think the majority. Because in this is another thing, but in like the Vietnam War, yeah. a large amount of the Filipinos were known to be like the first ones. Like on the front line, but they would always come back smiling or bringing up the spirits. What the hell? And I can see that with like quite a few Filipinos now, mm. in like here in London. Of course, you got those minor few that are like me, but then majority of them they're either like hardworking, um, either happy majority of the time. Not but majority of the time, but you know they raise the spirits of other people, or they're known to be like the hardest workers in the room. I can't like, I think that's dope. Movie roll. At first, I was actually ashamed. Right. What? Of being Filipino. How come? Bomba clot! Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just like. Because yeah. back then, I didn't really know about the history of Philippines, okay, innit? Okay, yeah. All I saw on the news was sometimes some idiots. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, that were Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't really yeah, know, huh? like, know much about like Filipino culture and stuff like that. Okay. And like when it came to, like say, for example, World War Two. I thought Philippines just what's it? I thought Philippines just accepted like what happened mm. with them against Japan and stuff like that. But recently I learned that they didn't. It's holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was yeah. gonna say like first at first I was ashamed of being Filipino. Okay. Being Asian no, or why, Filipino? Why? Filipino. Yeah. Actually being Asian as well, I can't lie. I think it's generally because I, I mean, it has to be. It has to be with your upbringing, man. Like, not not upbringing yeah. by your parents, but like upbringing by secondary. Because, bro, I was proud to be. Uh, I was. Wait, and like, yeah, I didn't. Proud. I didn't feel it. Like, I was just like calm with like who I was. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think about You're it. You're content, sir. I think content. it's because I think it's the people that like, you surround yourself with sometimes. Like, yeah, I think I, can, I, I think you. I think you messed up with who you surrounded yourself with. Yeah. Don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> but, not right, but now you're surrounded with the best people on earth. <laughs> no, you know, no, 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 no. He actually yeah. has a point. Yeah. I think it's because the people I surrounded myself with, okay. they were had a negative vibe around them. Right. And when it came to like Filipinos, one specific person would constantly make negative jokes about Filipinos, which I've definitely affected my mind to think negative of us as a people. Mm. I think it's the same with And I think yeah. it's because I refused to learn about our history that I just accepted that wrong stigma about us us Phillies. If I so, if I had called myself out and actually learned about the history back then, I don't think I would have developed that negative mindset about Filipinos. So you need to learn about so just history to like it. So I feel like the more I learned about our history, about what happened to our country, about how our country was called Mahalika before Spain came in. Mahalika? Yeah. Mahalika. Yeah. Mahalika. Mahalika. Before I learned, like when I learned those things about what our country's been through and like how our country has developed developed since, you know, the end of the Spanish colonization and stuff like that, and how it's started getting like better and stuff like that, recently and like learn about everything. That's when my mind started to change, and that's when I started to become proud of proud to be Filipino. Yeah. So you weren't proud before you. Had such a, or I would be real. No, I didn't. I because that's cause, bruh. This is gonna be coming from my like thirteen year old mindset back then. I didn't research anything about Philippines, but what was the, what was there to be proud of? What do you mean? There you go. What do you mean there you go? Money Pacquiao, flipping food, flipping being Asian, being I don't know. I was just proud of being <laughs> Filipino. We was we were the strong people. But we, money, jungle, money, we, we came from the jungle. Said, no, 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 that's what I'm yeah. saying though. 
when, when, from, from, when I was in secondary school, yeah, I was the shortest, but I was the strongest. And everyone used to say, ah, oh, because he's Filipino, he's from the jungle, man. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know, it's just small stuff like that made me proud. Right. Know. San Miguel, obviously that's the that's the drink to drink for the either, Filipinos. Either that or Jack Daniels in course, yes, of course, with of course, ice. Yeah. Good eats. Yeah, so yeah. obviously yeah. jumbo rice for the jumbo people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shall Gavin we is the jumbo. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, should we do it? Shall we shall we give it a try? Yeah. Something Oh thanks for the rice. <laughs> Big punch to my rice. <laughs> hey yo. Okay man. Hey yo, yo, put tang in the moon. Ready, ready, huh? Three, two, one. Yeah, I just wasn't proud before. But then when I started learning, when I started like, when I called myself out and started learning about the culture of Philippines, then that's when I started to become proud. Uh, we, we, we come from a country where uh, our genetic makeup makes us have fast twitch muscles. Bro, we were headhunters. Bro, when Spain came in, Spain struggled to, cut, to uh, what's it, colonize. colonize a specific area because they were such savages that they couldn't basically beat the people. So do you know how, how to cut onions without crying? I cry every day. 